Hello and welcome to this Linux Micro Video Lecture. Here I will tackle the basics in adding users in your Linux operating system. There are two ways on how you can check the system users using CLI. First is to cut the passwd file located at the etc directory. Here in this example, you can see the first user is JPQ Thomas. But before we start, make sure that you already enabled your sudo or your root access by updating its password using a command line. Here, just type sudo space passwd space root and then enter your new password. Now, the second way to check the system users using CLI is to list your home directory. Just type ls slash home slash. There you can see jpq thomas dash dm01. So in adding users, there are two ways that you can do this in your Linux operating system. The first is the add user command. In this example, just type in sudo add user and the username. Then put the password of your root. In the add user command, you can enter necessary information related to the user, like full name, room number, phone number, and the like. So let's check our etc passwd file. So as you can see, the user poll has been generated. Then let's also check our home directory by listing the slash home directory. There we can see the poll directory. Take note that every time you use the add user command, directory for the username will be generated on the home directory, which is similar to the name of the user. Also, note that there are some commands that I will be using along this topic, like ls and cut or even clear. I'll just make a separate micro video lecture for these commands in the future. So let's check our passwd file. So as you can see here, Paul has been generated, John has been generated, and kindly observe that there are some digits, like for example, 1001. This is actually the user ID. And the next is the group ID. So basically, every time you create a user in the Linux operating system, it generates a unique user ID and group ID assigned to that particular user. You may observe other information like the full name, room, telephone number, and also you can see the home directory as well as the shell of that user. The next way in adding user is to use the user add command. This command comes with options like minus D, minus U, and minus G, and more. In this example, we're going to create a unique user directory for a particular user. So we'll use the minus D option slash home which is the default directory for all the users and then we put a specific name of a directory 
and then we will create the user Charlie. Then let's cut the etc pass wd file. As you can see, we have generated another user which has a unique user ID and group ID. But this user has a unique home directory. So in this next example, we're going to use user add with the minus u option wherein we're going to create a unique user ID for a particular user. So let's type sudo user add minus u then let's indicate a unique user ID. So as you can see here, this particular user has a different series of user ID and group ID. So when using the user add command, you have to manually set the password of each of the users that you created. Unlike the add user, wherein by default, you will be asked by the system to create a temporary password. In this example, we will be using the minus G option of the user add to include this user in a specific group which is 8181. So as you can see in the example, we have created a user which has a unique user ID but it belongs to the user group 8181. Now let's create a user using a combination of the user add options. So here, the user will have a unique user ID, which is 1009, and then it will belong to the group 8181, which has a default shell of born again shell, and will have a specific user directory which is special-user2. You may also notice in the passwd file that the user ID of Tintin was created sequential to the user ID of Gwen since we did not indicate a unique user ID for Tintin. So that concludes our tutorial in adding user in Linux operating system. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.